Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2. This is perchloric acid. This is calcium hydroxide. So we have an acid and a base. It's a neutralization reaction. When we balance net ionic equations, one of the first things we do, we balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation here. I can see that I have this perchlorate ion here, polyatomic ion, and I have two of them here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the HClO4. That balances the perchlorates and two hydrogens. It looks like I have two hydrogens here and two here, so I'm going to need to put a two in front of the water, and that balances the equation. At this point, we can write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. So HClO4, that's a strong acid. It'll be aqueous. Calcium hydroxide is considered a strong base. That'll be aqueous. And then compounds with the perchlorate ion, they're very soluble. Water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So we've split everything into its ions except the liquid. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. And now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants here, I can see I have two perchlorate ions. Again, two perchlorate ions in the products. These are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. I have a calcium ion here and again in the products cross it out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for perchloric acid and calcium hydroxide. Since we have two in front of these, we could reduce this down to one, and we don't write the one as the coefficient by convention. So this is probably a better way to ultimately represent our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2. Thanks for watching.